Hi, Linda Bowney here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is just a technique video, and it is a paper piercing um, technique and stamping on our designer series paper, something that I forget to do. So I am using the Special Moments um, stamp set. Love this stamp set. It is a level two um, celebration item that you can get through the end of February. And I'm also using the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper. And I have several different pieces here. The first piece is measuring uh, three quarters of an inch by two and five eighths in the Designer Series paper. And I am going to take the Happy Birthday from the Special Moments stamp set and I am going to stamp right on that designer series paper. So the paper piercing will match my layer of my verse. Like I said, that is something I forget to do and I love the look of it because it just follows through with our designer series paper. Then I have a piece of basic black and this measures two and seven eighths by two and three quarter, and I'm just going to layer that verse. Next, what I have is two pieces of that designer series paper that measure three quarters of an inch, one and three quarter by two and three eighths. And again, this is from the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper. The Designer Series paper matches our Daffodil Bundle that's in the mini catalog, but by getting the Designer Series paper, you can use the, the paper without the stamp set. If you purchase $30 in my online store this month, I will send you a tutorial using the bundle and this beautiful Designer Series paper. Now I have a piece of the another pattern from that paper. This measures one and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And we're just gonna add our adhesive and add that to our designer series paper, or excuse me, our basic black. And that measures one and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So I've just uh, made a little eighth inch border with the black. I have a piece of our bumblebee. This measures four and a quarter by 11 have already scored it at the five and a half, and now we're ready to assemble our cards. So I'm just gonna add some adhesive and add this to our card. This card layout was shared with me by Lee Ambergary of Mentor at a recent uh, little gathering I had. And I just loved how it showed off the Designer Series paper. I will be sharing Lee's card that we did in our shoebox swap um, later in the week. But there we have um, the Designer Series paper. Now we're just going to grab some dimensionals. And I'm going to use the large dimensionals so that we can just pop up that birthday. So again, just using little pieces of your designer series paper and stamping on the designer series paper it gives you a very quick card. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.